with nobody in it usually, but look at that thing. Someone's got a hut here. They left all their gear in there, I guess overnight or over a couple nights. Look at this thing. An old, looks like an old 12 or 14 foot aluminum boat. Someone's been shooting through. Nice creek right there. I was hitting some slush back there pretty bad. And uh, the old expedition pulled it right through, man. That thing's a tank. Pulled the snow coach like nothing. All right, let's get set up here. I'm gonna do a bit of, I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, ice fishing today. I'm gonna set up for ice fishing. I'm gonna leave my rods there and uh, I got a little bit of a project, a little bit of an experiment rather. I'm gonna try out here while I'm in the bush. It's a nice relaxing day. My day off to, you know, relax, do whatever. Anyways. So, my own stupidity and from uh, being rushed to leave and pack, I forgot to bring bait. So I got these. Mmm, salami. I'll try it out. Just gonna kinda hook the salami on like if it was a leech or something. Hopefully we got fish there that aren't too bright. Let's see if a pike will come along and Maybe you like salami, I don't know. Oh yeah, some Genoa salami. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. That's okay. My main goal is not to fish here, I'm just throwing a line in because I can. Put my uh, grandpa's old uh, rod defenders, I'll call it, I guess. Whammy. All right, let's set up the hut. Get myself a nice warm spot to uh, to warm up when I need to. Get back to you in a bit. All right, step one, shovel out an area. And I put all these little puzzle piece pads, the same ones that uh, I had in my last video with the big hub shelter. And I'll set up that, uh, what I got is the outbound. The outbound one to two person, I think. Something like that. Uh-oh, there she goes. The wind's blowing. Uh-oh. I better peg that down. <laughs> All right, before I peg this down, I, I shut the uh, the door down and uh, it seemed to stop it from, from moving at all. Probably a light wind, probably 15 kilometer wind right now. I'm just gonna shovel some snow all around it. Turn it on here. Oh man. Woo! <laughs> there she goes. Oh, reason I came in here. Oh, I got. I got. What do we got here? I got. That's too bright again. I've got. One of these and one of those. Let's see here. We got a blueberry ale or oh, you know what? I'm gonna go 
for the oh, it's so hard to decide I don't know if I want to do the blueberry ale um, whatever let's try blueberry let's try blueberry before we burn our taste buds on, on another beer so this is uh, Forgotten Lake blueberry ale and handcrafted by the Lake of the Woods Brewing Company. Wow, okay. It says, hidden in the Lake of the Woods region on a small back lake, there exists patches of berries usually reserved for the discerning palates of black bears. This beer is suitable with a clear free nose, muted blueberry, low bitterness, and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, Kenora. Kenora, Ontario. Anyways. There is a little bit of a hint of blueberry in there, but you know what? It still tastes like uh, like beer. It's only afterwards you get that little tart, tart, tartiness, um, like sweet tarts. Uh, yeah, pretty good. I'll have her. All right, people, let's, uh, let's go for a little walk here. Over a little walk, I'll put my, my go phone back on. Oh. Oh. All right, let's go take a look. See over here what I got. What I've got, and what I've got going on. Look at that. What's that? A big log looking thing. I got a bag of charcoal some kindling let's go over here I think this is gonna be my spot kind of hidden under under cover here what I'm doing today is probably already wrote it down in the title so I got some fire bricks there I got a vacuum I got a bunch of tools I have an anvil and uh, I'm gonna set it up here and I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you the forge build, and uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm making. I'm gonna make something pretty cool, so stick around. All right, got this little SOG or SOG, whatever you want to call it. Little folding shovel. I gotta figure out a spot to uh, put the forge here. Uh, should I go like that? Yeah, I'll go like that for now. Let's see here. Look at that, I had a pick, I had a pick and a shoveler. Go phone. Finish just squaring this off here. She's back straight. Okay. A little bit too rough on her. All right, guys. This is what I have so far. I've got, I got these fire bricks I took out of an old wood stove. And uh, I got this pipe. I guess it's a, looks like a inch and a quarter pipe for, uh, I think it was from a drain from an old sink or something like that. And I'm going to show you here. I got a little slot I picked out with my SOG shovel axe, pickaxe thing. And uh, hang on, let me change the angle. I'll show you what I'm gonna do here to build a little outdoor forge here. A little temporary, little temporary outdoor forge. Let's turn this a bit. Okay, so I got one brick. Put the other brick. Gotta squeeze it together. That's where my air is gonna come out. And keep stacking bricks here get something something of a forge going on here this one I broke <clears throat> broke when I was trying to stamp it into place which is stupid anyways that one here and 
All right, let's try this again before I get interrupted here. So, at the last brick, and I'm gonna leave a gap here just so that all the blow blowout energy doesn't come back out and towards me, and it kind of evenly spreads the heat. And actually, I think I'm gonna—I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna separate. And I'm gonna put a little hole here too, just for just for some of the flame to come out the other way, so it's not blowing all towards me. So I got my little Dewalt cordless vacuum. It's got the battery pack there. This is the the corded also version. All right, show you how this hooks up. This goes, yeah, I just put some uh, electrical tape around there, right into the pipe, bam. And I put the, uh, if you look up there, you can change where you plug it in. Yeah, I'm actually plugged it into the exhaust, so it's gonna be blowing. So, all right, let's, uh, let's get the rest of the forge set up here. And get away with only three of them on there. So that's just an old Mastercraft, Mastercraft uh, anvil I bought a long time ago for super cheap. I think it was 20 bucks. This is uh, not a forging hammer, it's some kind of hammer. Good enough. All right, let's move on. All right, next piece of gear is I got a log. I already did this at home. I just drilled a just drilled kind of inch and a quarter hole there and I just kind of jammed in a, a ball peen hammer so this will be right here in front of the forge kind of right there and I'll be able to shape the tool that I'm gonna show you how to make here on top of that let's get a fire going and then uh, we'll get some coals on there and uh, wait I gotta show you this is what I'm using here to forge it's a really tiny crowbar I bought at uh, Tool Town. And I think it was five bucks, something like that. So I'm gonna turn this into something else here, this end here. You'll see what that is pretty soon once I got a fire going and uh, we'll get the, the forge kicking. All right. I think you'll notice when I started the fire, I had my gloves on top, my mitts, right on top. See, and there's a crack there I forgot about. And look, I just did some artwork on my mitt. <laughs> it's all right, a little leather. All right, I'm gonna keep stoking this up with uh, coals here until she gets nice and hot, and then we'll start our first uh, burn. Oh, just kinda a little update here as I'm feeding it. I made a little bit bigger gap between the bricks here. It makes a really good Eating spot to put to shove your char charcoal on top and it lands right in the middle right, right where you want it so anyways I'm gonna be a little test here Let's see how wild this gets with this vacuum going Okay guys, <laughs> this is gonna be a serious forge here. Look at that. I'm burning the paint off of this crowbar here so I can get started without poisonous gassing myself. I don't know if that's a proper term, probably not. But yeah, so Alright guys, I think I'm gonna get going here. Safety first, glasses, and welding gloves, mitts. All right, wish me luck. 
Oh, oh, she looks pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, she's getting better and better. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Time to start forging the shape of the tool here. And this is the first time I forge, so hopefully I kind of know what I'm doing here. Oh, oh man, she's just twisting. Let's keep going here. working a lot better here using the horn horn of the anvil much better much more solid blows here than the other setup with the ball peen hammer yes okay all right starting to get somewhere here do not What I'm making guys is a it's called a spoon bit and you basically make the tip of this like a spoon sharpen her up and you can drill drill through wood apparently if I do it right <laughs> it's kind of kind of crooked right now but I'm gonna keep working at it and, uh, and then I'll get back to you once uh, it's time to file it up all right this is what I got now kind of the shape I was looking for. I'm not gonna <laughs> push my luck anymore because well it's the first time I forged something so this is basic shape and I think uh, I'm gonna do some filing here and see if I can get it into shape. Uh, all right. Oh. Here's what I got. Here's what I got going on here. Oh, that's got some flavor. Tuborg. You ever drink that? Tuborg. Oh, wait. Tuborg Premium Beer Gold. 5.5, 500 mils. Imported. And that's from Turkey. It's from Turkey. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Well, break time, let's go for a walk here. I'm gonna I'm gonna GoPro my iPhone again. I pro it. Go check the rods here. Let's go. Let's go for a walk here. Check out this creek and this boat here. Let's go for a walk. Whoa, I'm sinking. Oh yeah, I'm going right through here. Maybe I'll step right in this boat. There we go. Hey, look at that. There's the creek. I don't know if I should get any closer. Let's go. Let's go see. Uh-oh. That's ice cracking. That is ice cracking, people. 
but not too worried because you know what I can see the bottom of that creek from here so let's go take a peek see oh man this is oh shouldn't be doing this I do have rubber boots on though Ooh, yeah, and that's, that is like mucky bottom there. Uh oh, uh oh, oh yeah, she's just breaking here. All right, back to the forge. Dangus Forge. The Dangus Forge. Had limited time today. Left around 10 o'clock from the house and go out here, I'm probably guessing 10.30. I don't know what time it is now. Here's the forge. Yeah, I got some coal smolder in there. I think I'm done with the forging, but maybe. I think I'm gonna cook on there after because she's nice and hot I got a nice surface there I'm gonna cook up some cook up some lunch some lunch between lunch and supper some lupper all right do some filing Kind of what I got so far. It's kind of the shape you want. You want it a bit wider at the tip here so that the bit doesn't get jammed in the wood or whatever you're drilling. Yeah, I'm gonna keep filing away here. Okay, I kind of did roughly did the outside. Now I gotta do the middle somehow and I brought some. I didn't bring power tools this time. The only power tool I got is, is this bad boy here. I should have brought power tools, <laughs> but let's, uh, let's see what I got here. I got vice grips, and I have these little bits. So I'm just gonna show you guys here what I got. The little bits didn't work too good. It's already drilling. It's not even close to sharp. So I think what I'm gonna do now is heat it up one one more time and uh, dunk it in some water and see if it's gonna harden here. Check it out. All right, guys. Well, I don't have the, uh, I don't have, I don't have the patience, not the time, but no patience to get some water and warm it up. And I know you're supposed to have some kind of like warm, warm, warmed water. But look at this. This is where I stepped through the ice, and uh, the water came up. So that's where I'm gonna stick it in and harden, harden this uh, tool. Well, we'll see what happens. Let's go heat her up. All right, guys, let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh. I shoved it right in the mud there. Well, doesn't seem like she warped too much. Let's go see if, uh, go see if it actually hardened or if that doesn't work. Putting it in super cold water. All right, gotta do the file test here. Where's the file? Oh, it's hard right there. Oh yeah. I mean, it's not that hard, but it is noticeably this part not so much, but the, the tip, the very tip seems a little bit harder. All right, people. I think that's it for my forging for the day. I'm gonna bring this to the shop and finish it up and uh, probably cut this up make it fit my drill and uh, see how it drills.
time to cook some food. Well, no fish, didn't have bait. <laughs> Stupid, forget bait. One thing, one thing you need when you're fishing, and I forgot my tackle box. All I had was the rods and the lures on them, which is fine. So you know what? Beautiful out here, look at this. Look at this place, let's selfie this for a second. Selfie, look at this. This beautiful cedar jungle that I'm in right on the edge of the lake. I already cleaned up all the uh, fishing stuff. I'm just getting ready to uh, get, the, uh, get the pan heating up here. Uh, I'm just getting ready to pop some eggs in there. I'd go uh, go phone style on you, but uh, I'm plugged in here. Look, I'm plugged into my Genius charger because my phone's dying. So tripod, tripod style. I got, uh, let's see what I got here. Sure, I got to cook. Not much. Got my little uh, hunting fanny pack here. Goodies. Uh, what do I got here? I got two eggs in this little container all wrapped up. I'm gonna cook that. And I've got a. Uh, it's one of my favorite things here to fry in a pan. Salami. Oh, yeah, salami, guys. Salami. Those fish are lucky I even offered them salami. It's one of my main, I mean, uh, diet, my main food diet. One of the main foods that are in my diet. And then I got some baby bells. And ketchup. Oh yeah. All right. Cut up some of this like that. Take you over. I'll take you over to the stove top here. Let's see if she's hot. Oh yeah, she's frying. She's frying. Slow cooking here. Ah, let's put some more in here. I don't think she's very hot. I might just take off those bricks and throw it right on the coals, but we'll see. Let's see what happens here. Cold out now. Kind of put a bunch of salami in there. All right, I think I'm gonna change this up here. I gotta think of something better here. Let's see, I want that stuff to fry. I'm hungry. Throw that here. Throw that there. Just like that now. Oh yeah, that's gonna work better. Oh yeah, I think we'll get some heat going like that. I think we'll get some heat going like that. Oh, like this, even better. Look at this. Keep that like that. Oh yeah. Here she comes, people. Here she comes. Oh, slow cooking salami. All right guys, change of plans again. I'm gonna drop this right down on the coals. I don't have much time here. I gotta get back home in a, about an hour and a half, so I don't wanna rush too much, so. I'm just gonna drop these on the sides. This one too, kinda like that. And throw that right, right on the coals here. See, see if she's gonna get nice and hot. Cook the salami and then get the eggs going. Well, salami's sizzling up real good here. Oh, I'm attached here. Put this thing there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that meat. Mm. I gotta say, now that now that I've pulled the rods and uh, 
hanging out here in the bush. This is, uh, this part was really worth it. This is more enjoyable to me here. You know, if you could just take, if you're stressed out or whatever at work, and uh, if you could just take a half a day and just relax. You know, you don't have to go ice fishing. Just bring, you know, bring some food to cook and, uh, and uh, equipment enough to make a fire and keep it going. Have a, have a little seat here and uh, bring some coffee or beers or whatever. And spend a half a day in the afternoon. It makes such a difference. And I'm not just saying that because I'm in front of camera. Right now I'm really liking this. This is quiet here, you know. You don't need a snowmobile either. Just bring a backpack. If you don't have a backpack, bring a sleigh. Bring a sled. Rig something up. Just put your stuff in there. Walk in the bush, you know. You don't have to be uh, miles out in the wilderness. You can be whatever. 200 meters in the bush. Just enough so that you don't hear too much. And... Uh, Feels good, fresh air, fresh air, salami, eggs. Speaking of that, I'm about to crack them. Move the salami up here, I think. Got some uh, oil here I threw in. Got two eggs. Oh yeah, that's a good sound there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. And what else I got is, got some, what is this, Montreal chicken, chicken spice here. That'll work. That goes good on anything here. Let's put that on there. Oh, oh, look at this. Look at those eggs. Oh, look at that salami. Oh, boy. Hey, I brought bread, too. Where is it? Oh, I got bread. Bread too. How am I gonna do this? Look at that. Some kind of rye bread here. Maybe I'll just lean them up here. Put one there. Throw one there. Oh baby. Oh. Well, all you need is a get a good uh, pan from the the thrift shop for four bucks. Make sure it's stainless and not aluminum, because aluminum doesn't go good on coals. I mean, so use some stainless. This too. This was, uh, I think, two bucks there. That's all you need, man. Anyways. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful you and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free.
salami dipped in ketchup. Don't knock it till you try it. I'm telling you. Mmm. Truly enjoyable. Mmm. Ah. Alright. Coffee time. I think she's hot enough here. Let's see. Oh yeah, she's a boiling. Boiling. Here and the French press. No, I don't need the rest of that. Let's make a coffee. Ah, oh, baby. Look at that hazelnut. Mmm. Hey, go for a bushwalk here. Just notice this uh, kind of in a cedar grove here. See all the beautiful cedar. Nice, nice wood here. Look at this bad boy here. He's a big one. It's a big one. Oh, look at this. There's like a hole in there. Check this thing out. Put my put my hand right in there. Yeah, he's that's a big boy. Big boy. Look at the curve on that. Oh yeah. That's cool. Oh burnt myself again. Oh, why do I do that? Oh, yeah. A lot of animal tracks here. Seeing squirrel, rabbit. I think there's wolf here, too. Oh, beautiful bush here. Yeah, look at that big guy. Look at that thing. Beautiful cedar. What's this? This is a big spruce here. Big spruce. I mean, look at that. That is, that's a big spruce. For around here, anyway. Oh, see, look at that fox, fox tracks. We've got squirrel, we've got rabbit tracks. All right, let's head back to camp here. Well, I think that's, that concludes the adventure. The micro adventure. I'm only about, I don't know, four or five kilometers away from home right now. I didn't have much time, so I wanted to get something done. I couldn't get away for the whole day today because I gotta be back around four. I got some people who wanna buy some stuff I'm selling that I'm getting rid of, so. Gotta get back, a little bit rushed. I wish I could do, next time I think I'll, after I do a couple uh, short videos, I'll do, uh, you know, maybe another solo night out. Possibly with a buddy, we'll see. And uh, that way I could thoroughly enjoy myself here. Take time for myself as well as filming. But uh, like I said, once I sat down and, and put everything away and 
and uh, started cooking here, that's when I really started enjoying myself. So, yeah. If you need to relax, go out in the bush, guys. Or, just stick around my channel and uh, click on the... Uh, Click on the camp out videos and uh, you can enjoy that anytime you want. You know, chill out, crack a beer, man. Just crack a beer, sit down, watch me, hang out with me. There's more to come. Canada, eh? All right, guys. This marks the end of the little forge forging adventure in the bush slash half ice fishing with salami. <laughs> There's the uh, there's the forging area here. Fires all out, and I'll leave that behind. Yeah, that's it. Time to head back home and all right, guys. Dangus North, North, North. That way, Dangus. Where's Dangus? Where's Dangus? Dangus North. That's not good. Oh no. This is not good guys. Not good. Okay, I gotta shut this off. Oops. <sighs> Alright guys, I was able to back down this huge steep hill with the snow coach still attached all right we'll give this another try I think I got a lean I started tipping and I let off the gas and ended up ended up in the tag all tag alders we'll try again I'm gonna GoPro it I'm gonna phone I'm gonna go phone it let's see take two Hopefully, hopefully we can get out of here today. I think I'll put in high gear this time. Just to... F you, Hill. <laughs> All right, it's mostly flat ground from here on, so I'm headed home. Nice girl, nice girl. Yeah, yeah, you deserve that. Yeah. Oh.